Hello everyone, welcome to a Let's Play series of Fallout 2, this is Kernel RPG, as usual, and I'm very happy that the show's playing out with me today, as we continue exploring downtown Klamath. So, in the last episode we arrived here, we checked the bulletin, the notice board, there it is, we, just, we spoke with uh, this sickly man over here, I don't know his name though, Aldo, the town greeter, and we helped Thor, and we killed the Dunton brothers that ran this slaughterhouse over there. Uh, so, we are, already, we are already well liked. In Klamath, we're accept, accepted. That's good. Um, let's speak. There's a dog running around. Hello. Oh, he's. <laughs> we could snarl at him, staring into the dog's eyes. I don't think so. I think he's just hungry. Let me give you something delicious to uh, for him. Woof! The mongrel happily grabs the yummy dry meat, dropping a key that he must have had in his mouth. You pick up the key. Well, you sure was were uh, hungry. And we got a Trapper Town key. Well, Trapper Town is to the west, I'm pretty sure. Let's check, for now, let's check the Buckner house. Some sort of bar over here. Hello. Someone relaxing. Sturdy older woman with a tired smile. And an older man with a scraggly beard and a big red nose. Howdy, stranger. My name is Whiskey Bob. What's yours? I'm Faye. What's happening here in town? Always nice to... To find another drinking buddy, wanna buy me a drink? Talking always makes me thirsty. <laughs> with a nickname with a nickname like yours, Whiskey Bob, maybe you should be providing the drinks. I'm not gonna say that. I'm uh, sure, Bob. Don't mind a bit. Thanks for the drink, partner. Now that my whistle's wet, I feel that I can share a little problem I have here. Maybe you can help me out. Well, sure. How can I help you out? Well, you see, I have a little side business that I need some help attending to. I have a moonshine still outside of town that needs to be fueled up every so often. Since the gecko done beat my leg, and... Oh, come on. Since the gecko done beat my leg, I can't wobble out to it before it runs out of fuel. If I tell you where it is, would you refuel it for me? It's worth 50 bucks to me. Hm, that doesn't sound too bad. Tell me more. All you have to do is find a little shack just south of town. Go inside and dump the firewood into the still. Then come back here and I'll give you your money. But it needs to be done within the next day or my batch of hooch will go bad. Well, 50 bucks don't sound like nearly enough for a job like that. Nice try there, but 50 bucks all uh, the job's worth to me. Heck, I can't afford to pay anymore. Okay, I'll do it. All you have to do is... Uh, we know what we have to do. Sounds pretty easy. You'll do it? Great! Remember, you gotta do it soon or my hooch will go bad. Thanks, a hip. See you back here soon. Actually, I wanna ask you some questions. All sorts of things going on here, uh, hereabouts lately. We've got walking spirits, gigantic rats, missing people. So we, some even say the den's involved. The d a den? What kind of den? Not a den. The den. You'll find a great uh, You'll not find a great hive of scum and villainy. Now, where did I hear that? In any case, it's a rough sort of place. Come on, don't skip the dialogue. It's a rough sort of place a few days travel south of Klamath. Anything can be had there for a price. Even slaves. But you have to be very careful there. Lots of short tempers attached to dangerous weapons. I don't think they have much to do with us, though we're we're too poor here. Oh, well, I think I'd be safe enough there. Tell me about these walking spirits. There's a cannon just to the west of town that had a bright light in it a few days back. Ever since, uh, every now and then, there's been a horrible squealing sound that comes from the canyon. Brahmin that wander in and don't come back. Everyone's afraid to get too near. Well, surely a sign of a spirit infestation, if only you had a competent shaman. <laughs> Tell me about something else. What about the gigantical rats? Well, out back of Trapper Town, just to the west of downtown, there's a back section that's overrun by rats. The further back you go, the bigger they get. Some say that there's one huge great rat spirit that's leading them all. Some of the trappers won't even stay there anymore. They say it's too dangerous. Traps, trappers housed by rats? Hmm, that's interesting. What about the missing people? Lately, we've had a couple of missing people. A trader named Vic? Yeah, he was not up in his shack. A specialized in pre-war stuff and one of our best trappers. Tell me about Vic. Well, Vic was quite a fella. He didn't like to work too much, so he much he would specialize in experience in expensive pre-war things and then go sell them to the den. 
or even hawk them to the stru stupid tribals as religious artifacts. <laughs> Oops, oh, no, no offense. Anyhow, I haven't seen him for a while. Last I heard, he went south to sell some stuff. Maybe to the den. What about the missing trapper? The real person to tell you about the missing trapper would be Mrs. Buckner. She and Smiley were pretty close. He went north to look for a cave of golden geckos and hasn't been si seen since. That was a while back, too. Hmm, interesting. Uh, what about the Garden of Eden creation kit? Ever heard of such a thing? A Garden of Eden creation kit? Why, I think I saw one of those listed on a page of an old catalog I was looking through while I was sitting down out back. But I don't know much more about it than that. Really? I'd like to see that catalog. Oh, uh, well, uh, I kind of, kind of like, y y use that page, take care of some um, business, if you know what I mean. Business? Oh, that kind of business. Uh, I prefer old newspapers myself. Oh, well. <laughs> so Faye is not, uh, is not uh, at all worried about sharing her private hygiene habits. Whatever. Hello there, my name is Hardin Buckner, and this is my place. Say, you didn't see a trapper named Smiley outside of town, did you? He's been gone far too long. Never should have let him go off on that fool quest of his. Smiley? No, I haven't seen a trapper by that name. Tell me about him. Well, Smiley and me were getting downright serious with each other. I thought I finally got him to agree to settle down here and help me run this place. But he said he needed to go off on a quest one last time. Well, he called it a quest. He told me he thought he would... He knew where all the golden geckos came from, and he wanted to find out for sure. He thought that maybe it was some kind of magical spring, or maybe a hidden cave or vault of some sort. Well, I don't really know what, he's, what all he said, but he seemed to real excited about going. But I shouldn't have let him go. He's two weeks later getting back, and he said he'd be... And I'm worried. Well, I'll help you with that. Oh, thank you! Let me mark it on your map where he talked about looking. I sure hope you can find him. He isn't much, but I still love him, and I miss him more than I thought I could. Please, find him for me. Well, let me ask you about uh, questions around here. You should talk to my daughter. Sure. Sure, I don't want to buy something. Yeah, I can I just handle the rooms here. I want to... Uh, if you want to buy something, speak with Maida, my daughter. Sure. Thanks, goodbye. Bye. Actually, can I buy stuff from Whiskey Bob? Finish fueling the steel? Nah, I don't reckon that you have... <laughs> that you have yet. Let's, let's see if he can barter. He can. That's good. That is uh, good. And I'm gonna sell him this. Oop, these are worthless. These are really worthless. We have completed the mission. We don't need them anymore. Let's sell him this. And some meat jerky. Do you want meat jerky? You don't want meat jerky. Uh, well, I'm looking for stuff that's worth an uneven amount of money. And uh, unfortunately... Well... At the beginning of the game, you'll be counting pennies all day long because it's uh, it's really it, there's a real a, li a real uh, big contrast between the beginning of the game and the late game in terms of loot. What can we and I do you for? And this is Sulik. If you don't know who he is, well, you'll get you're gonna find out now. This guy is really famous in the uh, Fallout uh, universe. Uh, who's we? What's what, we and I? Who's the we? The spirits with me, friend. They be all around. Sometimes talk. What spirits? Spirits be everywhere. Travel with we and I. Grampy Bone do most of talking. Grampy Bone? Him strong spirit. Much honor carrying him. Wait, you mean that bone in your nose? Keep him close. Easier to touch his spirit. That's why he talk the most. <laughs> well, I can only hear you talking so far, mate. <laughs> we go and get along just fine. Yeah, can I ask you some questions? We and I know many things. Travel from Great Saltwater to home of biting lizards. The Great Saltwater? The tribe's home is next to Great Saltwater. Two moons from here, friend. Two moons? That's a long way. That's like two months. How did you travel so far safely? Friend, with all the spirits walking with me. Not afraid to travel anywhere. Well... We Ask. and I be glad to answer. Uh, that that line right there. We and I be glad to answer. Yeah, it's, <laughs> you'll hear it a lot. Um, tell me about the biting lizards. Geckos. The little dudes don't bite hard. It's the goldens. They go through your leg like an old pipe stem. 
The little dudes don't bite hard? Oh, well, I disagree. I would disagree. We and I be glad to. Um, uh, why did you travel so, so much? Trader named Vic's supposed to be here. He be saying he know about slavers. We show up, didn't peep him. Get pretty hot. Hmm. We and so I be glad he's looking to for, he's looking for Vic. Well, our objectives might align then. What are you doing here? Slavers got our sis. Thought Vic be having information. Couldn't peep him. Got P.O.'d. Drank like a fish. Spirits of anger and chaos pop out and now we have to pay some coin to make it right. Yeah, blame it on the spirits, Selick. Blame it on the spirits. You're looking for your sister. Sis went trading at another village and never come back. We and I go look for her. What, what did you find at this other, other village? One survivor. Dude was in bad shape. Said evil warriors came with magic torches. Fire would lick tribe warriors and they'd go to the spirit. Well, those sound like energy weapons. Or at least firearms, just normal firearms. What about your sis? The evil warriors tied up the rest and took off. Sis with them. Friend, we be finding her or die and trying. Yeah, that sounds like slavers to me. Have you found anything about them? We and I know they're slavers at Din. When we're free, we're out of here. When you're free, we well, and I be glad to answer. I'll see about that in a moment. Uh, I am looking what information. What can I do you for? Uh, let's see. I know about trade, healer, and a room. Ever heard of a Garden of Eden creation kit? Never heard of it. But maida has been keeping us busy. Yeah. Who's Maida? She's the boss. We pay off and go find sis. Well, I'll I'll speak with her. What can we and I do? Uh, I'll speak with her and try to, well, pay off your damages. Maybe you'll come with me. What kind of what's going on in town? Oh, <laughs> busy place. Bog men snatching cattle. Spirits walking. Smiley missing. Yeah, the bog men. They're not snatching cattle anymore. Like, uh, let's. Uh, what about the walking spirits? The canyon east of herd area supposed to have a walking, howling spirit, shaking the locals. Grampy Bone don't say a word though. Hmm. Grampy Bone you doesn't have more say. questions for Sulik? Doesn't say a word. What about Smiley? Who's Smiley? Smiley's a good hunter. Say he looking for the golden gecko's nest. Hmm. Didn't come back. Okay, and yeah, we've we speak with we've uh, spoken with uh, Mrs. Buckner about that. You have more questions for Sulik? Uh, foo, 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 foo. nope. I'll be I'll see you later, mate. I will see you later. Let's speak with Maida and see what she like. My name is Maida Buckner. I take care of trading and drinks here. What will it be for you, friend? I wanna. Yeah, I wanna barter with you. I need money. I need money and steam packs and ropes. I don't need ropes. Ropes are not very important in Fallout 2. I'm pretty sure the restoration project has some new missions that involve ropes, but well, a deck of tragic. I'm not gonna sell that. I might be useful. Let's see. Actually, let's sell this. Ooh, those are very expensive. Let's sell this and this. And I just need um, meat jerky. Is this good? Oh, it is. It is. No. Okay, so I'm gonna sell one of this, and there we go. 183 pieces of money. I have to look at the money because we're we're not using bottle caps anymore, as we did in Fallout 2. The world has moved on. The world has improved. Uh, I want to ask you some questions. Uh, have you heard of a Garden of Eden creation kit? The only way I know to create a Garden of Eden is through plain, hold hard work. That's something you tribals just don't seem to understand. But I guess that's the difference between us civilized folk and yourselves. Civilized? Do you think you're civilized because you live in the burnt out ruins of a before town, before time town? Hmm. <laughs> well, she, is, she seems pretty stuck up. And pretty also, I mean, it's okay having that kind of opinion. Just don't throw it at the face of, of a tribal, right? I mean... Like, she's just rude. Rude for the pur sole purpose of being rude. That's what she is. So I don't like her. I have decided. Tell me about uh, nearby towns, please. There are only a couple of other towns nearby. There's Redding, far to the southeast, and the Dan, a few days south. But I wouldn't go to the Dan. Yep. Uh, what about tribes in the area? 
Well, I didn't count tribes when you asked about civilized towns, but I guess there's a group of savages somewhere to the northwest. Yeah, that's our that's our village. And then Solik's tribe, far to the southwest. Hmm. That's funny. My tribe doesn't count pre-war towns when we talk about civilized places. Huh. <laughs> uh, tell me about Solik. Solik's a tribal that's working here to pay off a debt he foolishly incurred. He's not a slave. We don't have slaves here in Klamath. Well, what do you mean? Well, you see, Sully got really upset one night and had too much booze. Then when, uh, then when he was drunk, he busted up the place. He did nearly 500 uh, bucks worth of damage, just, not, uh, just now getting the place repaired. Why'd you get upset? Well, he said he found out that his sister had been kidnapped by slavers. But you'd have to, be, we'd have to ask him about that. He's here until he can pay off the rest of the damage he did while he was drunk. How much does he still have to work off? He still has to pay off 350 bucks. If he weren't so lazy and shiftless, it would go kick quicker for him. He's not leaving here until he pays the debt in full. That's a lot of money. What if someone else paid Solix damage? Uh, well, he may be slow, but he goes sort of. He does sort of grow on you after a while. She looks away wistfully, flustered. Hmm. What have you been doing to Mrs. Maida? Solik, Solik, you dirty bugger. Now that's enough jaw flapping. Do you need anything else? Yeah, what about paying off his debt? I don't know why anyone would want to pay off his debt, but they could. His bill comes to 350, but you wouldn't want to do that. It only gets you in trouble again. Well, I don't like him staying here with a bigot like you. I want to pay for his damages. Well, okay then, if you really want to pay for the damages he caused, I guess all your tribals really stick together. Well, I do. I have enough to pay for the damages. Oh, we got a level. That's great. You must be crazy. I'll I'll sure be I'll sure be glad to have that damn tribal away hmm. from here. Yeah, she's there's something going on there. Well, somehow I think Solik might actually miss being here. Well, we'll be back to visit sometime, I'm sure. Right now, I need to get away. So I paid off Solix. We be here. Solix debt. We and I be glad to answer. Solik, would you like to come with me? We might be able to find your sister in the course of my travels. And Faye, I'm sure, would be interested in trying out your with spear. Grandpa Bones say we might find sis with you. Yeah, because he's skilled with a spear. I hope so. In any case, uh, it will be time. It will be nice to travel with you. And not just Grampy Bone, all tribe spirits. Grampy Bone just wiser and stronger than the rest. Let's ease on down. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say that I'd be glad to travel with you and your grandfather's bone. And uh, let's see what, what kind of weapons, mean? what kind of weapons you're good with. Uh, can I ask you about your gear? You got it, friend. I need to ask what kind of weapons you can use. We be good with fist, spear, big hammer, submachine gun. We <laughs> be a handful. <laughs> you are indeed, Salik. Don't give him a submachine gun unless you send him to the front of the, com of the combat field because he likes bursting and hitting his friends. He's really not a, a reliable submachine gun user. Uh, can you consult the spirits for me? Oh, by the way, so as you might have seen, this is combat control over here. It's a new, a brand new feature from uh, for Fallout 2 that hasn't been in Fallout 1. And uh, it's been, it's, uh, the companion system has been greatly improved. And uh, some characters can, uh, you can ask them stuff from time to time. Solik can consult the spirits for us. The spirits are sometimes hard to understand. They see things you and we can't. Uh, what, can, what can they tell you about this place? Bad spirit under something snaps. Not sure what that mean. Under something? Hmm, maybe that's the rats over the trapper town? What you be needing? Spirits be willing to talk. What about our what chances? You want? What about our chances? The grass is greener across the fence, but you must first find that fence. So, as usual, spirits not being very specific. What you be needing? G very generic. I would say, uh, yeah, I want to see the control room. So the control room over here, the control, combat control or whatever. Actually, let's read with him first and get to that later because he's got a sledgehammer, but I'm going to give him a spear because maybe that's better. And I'm going to take that as well because maybe I need that more than him. Look at my health points, 13 over there. Terrible. Let's see, combat control. 
Now he, we can equi uh, equip his best weapon, which is a sledgehammer, and his armor, it doesn't have armor. Here we can see his hit points, his skill, carrying weight, which is pretty good, and uh, because he's very strong, and his melee damage and action points. And over here we can alter his disposition, so we could go berserk, aggressive, defensive, or just downright coward. He is not a coward, so we can do that for him. But we can also go custom, and in custom we can configure all of this to our needs so sometimes you can you could go burst all the time but uh well as you can see be sure you won't hit me is it, it just wants be just careful not sure and absolutely sure you won't hit me well that would be the best but unfortunately this one is the best for now um unless we had a power armor to to um deny the damage that it causes uh other than that option well it is gonna is not gonna run away um, well, maybe he is. Only when he is a tourniquet, though. A range than melee in terms of weapon preference, that's good. Distance, stay close to me, because you don't have a submachine gun, otherwise I'd, I'd send you to charge on the enemy. And attack, ooh, not who you want. You are crazy, your spirits tell you crazy stuff. Where we cl is closest, closest could be good. Or whoever's attacking me, yeah, that's the one. That's the one I'm going with. And Stimpaks when hurt a lot. Yep, uh, but I'm not gonna give you steam packs for now because I don't have any. That might change though, that might change. But there it is, Sulik. Sulik is uh, configured. Let's ransack this place and see what I, what I can find. Uh, so we got a new quest, a new real quest, which is uh, helping Whiskey Bob with his... Um, with his... Um, sh uh, we thinking you need time to smell the flowers. Grampy bones say you're too pushy all the time. You gotta be taking life slower, friend. Yeah, we can push characters in this game, which is a very, very big improvement over Fallout 1. Um, but anyway, we got a, a quest which is helping Whiskey Bob with his steel. With his uh, moonshine steel. Let's see what we can find in here. We got some golden... Uh, it's not golden gecko pelts, just a normal gecko pelt. And we got, what do we have over here? Money and a steam pack, that's good. That is very good. I might use that, actually. Let's see this door. It is locked, let's unlock it with our magical fists of unlocking. And uh, speaking of unlocking, remember how I jammed that door over here at Vic's place? Well, I know, I definitely picked the lock. Um, well, I jammed, but that's not gonna be a problem. Tomorrow, I'll, after midnight, the jammed locks, um, well, unjam basically, magically unjam. And if I find, if I haven't find a, a lock picking kit, I might just uh, pick through the jam. The, the that I think is a feature, but I'm not sure. I don't have a lock picking kit right now. Um, what I'm gonna do is level up, and you can pick a perk with level three now. Awareness, that's cool. Cautious nature, and it gives three perception when random on random encounters. That's pretty cool, but well, I don't need that. Comprehension is pretty cool. Uh, it adds 50% uh, bonus skill points when reading books. That's pretty good. Uh, early sequence is also pretty cool, but it only affects the first the first uh, turn of combat for the most part. So I'm not very interested in that. Here and now will give us another. Uh, level basically a level up to level four, but we'll forego picking a decent perk So that will give us some skills and will give us uh, All that comes with leveling up like hit points and all this sort of stuff So Kama Sutra Master when it comes to sexually uh, so to pleaser pleasing sexually you wrote the book and indeed uh, That looks like a very weird pose Night vision is pretty cool. It gives it decreases the overall darkness level by 20%. Presence increases 10% for the reaction of uh, the initial reaction of a person. Quick pockets is pretty good. It turns uh, um, it lets us access our inventory uh, for only two action points rather than four, and that is fantastic. I might pick that. Scout increases the line of sight in the world map. Smooth talker. Uh, increases intelligence by one. We're already pretty intelligent. We don't need that. Swift learner. It, it increases experience gains by five by five percent. And thief gives sneak lockpick and steal bonuses. I might go with. Uh, I'm not sure what I might go with actually. 
I'm not gonna pick any perk right now. I am going to increase, improve my lock picking ability up to 79%. We don't, we don't have 80% because we have a perception debuff because of the healing powders that I took. And in our speech skill to 70%. And let's continue in our on our journey. So let's check the pip boy over here. And uh, so Klamath rescues Smiley Trapper and refuel the steel. Arroyo retrieve the Gak and find Vic the traitor. And Umbreth tribe status find Sulik's missing sister. That's a, a quest that was cut from the original game but was restored by the restoration project. This is the golden gecko. Let's go in. Let's sell our pelts because they they we stole pelts and um, they pay quite a lot for pelts actually. There's plenty of people around. That's cool. Let's pick with this guy, a bar patron. Maybe if you buy us all a drink, we'll let you stay. Let me check my money. Let me check my money. 190. Look, le legal, legal tender for the world of the waste money. It's just called money. It's not a dollar. It looks like, I don't know, maybe maybe a dollar. Probably is a dollar. We're, we're in the United States after all. Hey there, friend. A little bird told me that you know where the old Whiskey Bob's has his still. I sure would like to know where that is. Hmm. Well, why do you want to know where that is? The story is that Bob's homemade hooch is making people sick. I'll pay 50 bucks. Can you imagine 50 bucks? Just to know where the still is, and then we can get to town co to the town council to shut him down. Well, this guy looks like a good person. Uh, Fifty bucks is a good price, but I'm not gonna give him that. I just don't think Bob's whiskey is making people sick. Forget I mentioned it then. Not a big thing. Hmm, not a big thing. Hmm, I'm not sure. Let's speak with Whisk Whiskey Bob, see if he has something to tell us about that. Nope, he doesn't have. He just says, fueled, finished fueling the steel. Nah, I don't reckon that you have time for that yet. Well, be sure to come back when you have. Yep, so I'm just gonna refuel the steel, and that is it. Um, I could give the directions to this guy, but... You don't seem to be too popular in this part of town. Well, maybe the jury's still out on you. How can I help you? I'm not too popular. Why am I not too popular? Let's check the karma. Liked. I'm liked in Klamath. So you're the dumbass. You are a dumbass. I have judged you. Faye is very judgmental. Faye is very judgmental. Uh, I'd like to buy a round of drinks for everyone in the bar. Oh, a round of piss for the whole bar then. Huzzah! That'll be 30 bucks with a big smile. Everyone here in, is drinking lizard piss? It's just beer. Golden gecko, gecko piss? Are you slow or what? <laughs> Tribals, jeez, yeah. Another a -all. Uh, Well, back at the Royal, we actually... Nah, never mind. Oh, did they drink gecko piss at the Royal? Holy Jesus. Well, uh, well, aren't you folks quite clever? Nice of you to drink with the, us lowlifes. <laughs> just what you want anyway. Uh, I'd like to have some questions from you, yeah? What the heck do you want to know about? What about settlements nearby? There are a couple settlements nearby. There are some tribals northwest of us, but I suppose you know about them. Then there's the Dan a few days southeast and the closest. And there's a mining town called Redding, quite a ways to the southeast. Oh, well, that's good. We're populating our map. Thank you. I want to ask you some questions. Uh, are there any traders here in Klamath? Just Vic, yeah. Uh, he's got a home in the east part of town. He used to trade pre-war stuff at the Dan and the, the tribals. Haven't seen him for a bit though. Yep. Uh, we are on his tail. Anything unusual going on in here in Klamath? Well, all sorts of things going on in town lately. So there's the rodents of unusual size. There's the walking spirit, a missing trapper. Klamath's become a real hotspot lately. What about the RUSs? The RUSs rodents of the unusual side, size. Some say that there's a gigantic rat the size of a co car vega. That's a car. That is a car. Uh, that rules over all the rats over in Trapper Town, west of here. They say that it lives in the old mine underneath Trapper Town and that all the other rats bring it all any shiny object that they find. Hmm. Shiny bubbles. Well, what about the walking spirit? West of town there's a canyon. A few months back there was a bright light coming from there and then the creatures started disappearing. 
Track tracks lead into the canyon, but none lead out. Spooky, huh? Some have heard a weird whining sound echoing off the canyon walls there, too. Yep, I'll have to check that on my own time. I'm not surprised that Trapper's gone missing with all this excitement. Tell me about him. Well, Smiley was one of the best trappers that ever was, but up he up and left Mrs. Buckner one day and said he was going to find where all the golden geckos came from. Said he'd be rich if he could find it, but he hasn't come back, and that was a while back too. Well, and we know all about all those things, I'm not gonna ask anything else about those. I'm looking for a job. Any leads? Well, the Dunton brothers are always finding, uh, looking for someone to do the dirty work for them. And for that matter, Tor, the, Buckney bo the Buckner boy, is scared to go tend that Brahmin at night on account of the Bugman. Yep, I guess that's all I need to know. Uh, I'd like to trade. I've got all kinds of things right here, kid. Healing supplies, booze, all kinds of stuff. I've got special sources, you might say. Always willing to look at a good gecko belt, too. Well, I guess special sources, then you should be able to give me a really good price. I'd like to make you one of my special friends, sweetheart. Hmm, it's not easy to get this stuff from the den. Tell you what, I'll have you a special price on what I've got. There you go. Faye, smooth talker as always. And he got, finally, we got a weapon. Let's see how much it costs. Well, it's pretty expensive, but I'm sure I'll, I'll get good money from these belts. Maybe not. Maybe I won't, so I ha I'll have to sell all this stuff. Actually, I might carry this with me. Booze? Nope. Uh, there's a quest, but we'll get that. This is a quest that requires you to gather booze around, but uh, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna spoil it for you. We'll do the dirty work ourselves. Just sell... Oh, those are really expensive. Oh, man! Serious? That's good. That's good news. Because that means that I'm gonna be able to bring that with me. And a pipe rifle as well. That's a crappy weapon. There's, I, I know where to find one, but we didn't find one. We missed out on that. Well, it's not, a, it's not that big of a deal. It is not a problem. So this is heavy meat jerky. I'm pretty sure it weighs one pound each. And I don't really need it. So I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna sell it. And a beer. What is this? Oh, this, these don't, are not interesting. Okay, so, can I sell? No, I'm not gonna sell those. No Coca-Cola. What else? Nothing else. So, yep. I'm gonna have to give him back a couple of, of monies. So, there you go. Uh, yep, let's talk with everyone. But this is gonna be it for this episode. I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Fallout 2. I really hope you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye!